It's time to get some headlights in this car. Alright, so the, the kit I've um, purchased to put in the Mini is the uh, the YPAC uh, quad optic conversion kit. So the way, this is a halogen kit, so the, the way it's designed is that um, it, like if you had the car up and running normally um, it's just a direct replacement. But um, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I'll just give you an overview of what came in the kit. Um, obviously these, the actual um, the mounting sets to put the lamps in, they came separate. So these ones are plastic. Um, I'm, I'm not too familiar with these at all, so like I'll um, have a play around when I actually install it. Um, they're the, um, the, the outside part. Um, these are just stainless steel, not chrome. And the actual headlights, um, the, the version I bought is the one which has the park light in it. So um, imagine that's a Mini. It's pretty close, but not exact. But um, the lights, the smaller lights down here, on my particular car, I'm using them as indicators. And that's pretty standard as to how it was in the Australian model. Um, the only thing, extra thing I've done is um, I've changed those lenses over for the orange lens. So that flashes as the indicator. Um, and then inside the actual headlight, that's where it'll have a separate, um, in Australia we call it park light. So that'll be the standard light and then uh, click the switch up one more setting and then the main headlights will come on. And then also high beam if you want that on it as well. So I'll just show you the actual um, the unit. So. This pair here, these are glass. So let me just carefully get that out. So that's what it looks like there. So the hal these are halogen, so they're obviously a lot brighter than the um, standard lights. And, and I'll talk about relays as well shortly. But um, so the actual fitting on there, I'll just do this with one hand without breaking it. So there's the actual fitting. Uh, like that's the actual bottom of the bulb, so it's it's a relatively um, easy unit to put together. But, so these are the actual leads. Um, these didn't come with the headlights. I had to purchase these separately. So they got the standard connector on there for the halogens, uh, and then these connectors here. Uh, one of them they are labelled. Um, I just need to check which one. That's got a L on it, so that's that's like low beam. The white and blue is for high beam, and then obviously the black is earth. And the way the park light needs to be wired in there too. And the way it needs to happen is that if you can remember, and I'll point out again when I get back into the car, that the connections for the headlights, which are sort of just near the front grille, there's a separate red wire for the park lights, and then that's why I've got this extra roller wire. So I need to wire that in. And then the way it works, I'll just show you on these instructions here, because these are actually pretty useful. So that that picture there, that's sort of how I need to just wait for it to focus. So that's how I need to wire it in. So that's using one of these lights. So that's they came with the, the headlight kit. Uh, the other useful thing it comes with too is these um, terminals. So these sort of fit a lot better into these um, than just normal like just the, um, the standard ones that you can purchase, the so, like, yeah, generic ones. So these are designed for the, the same fittings that uh, for those. All right. So first thing I need to get started then is to so the way it will work, it'll have like this red wire will come out here, have a connection on here, comes all the way back here. So the obviously the black cable on there, the earth pin from that needs to have another wire coming back from that connecting up to here. So I'm most likely we'll use these terminals and sort of just do it um, how it's shown in the diagram there because then if I ever need to replace like the park lights or the fittings it's easier to do. So that's what we'll aim to do. Alright, let's get started.
so what I've um, got here is a selection of parts. Um, this is all to um, sort out the, the relay. And um, I'm, I'm guessing that some people watching this, they, they've probably never done something like this before. So um, those of you that know how, that's all right. But um, it's, it's up to you if you want to use a relay or not, but it is actually recommended. Now, the reason why we use a relay, it's because the actual um, power, the switch, it can cause damage to the switch and also the wiring if it's carrying such a huge load because um these halogen lights they'll pull uh, um what i think it's must be 30 amps each sorry 30 watts each yeah, i'll double check that again but um so the amount of power that they're drawing a lot of current and then the issue is that the wiring that goes to the switches is only thin wiring so that can possibly burn that's the theory but um if those wires draw too much current, the um, the electricity running through it heats up the wire and then the wire burns. So that's in a nutshell sort of the reason why you need to do that. Um, also arcing in the switch as well, that can be an issue too. Uh, you'll notice like in a modern day car where they've got the switches on the um, indicator stalk, that's only like a very small switch and you, you'd hear it arcing every time you turn that on if it wasn't running a relay. Um, so the, the mechanical switches in the mini they're a bit more robust than like just switches on an indicator stalk, but still I want to do it this way anyway. So the way I'm going to set it up is that I'm directly off the solenoid. So that's like in theory, like perfectly connected to the battery. Um, so a wire will come off the solenoid um, to the positive battery terminal. I'm going to use this um, fuse. I've bought a couple of those in case I need one for someone else. So they're just these blade flip fuses and then from that it's going to lead up to these two relays so one relay will be for high beam one of them will be for the standard beam park lights they're not going to be connected through relays it's, they don't need to do that um the other equipment i've got are these um holders for the relay because obviously this is going to be mounted in the engine bay so the fuse can't mount but i'll have a play around in that i might be able to there's some like holes on the side i might better run a um some sort of clip on there or something i don't know but, so they're the two fuses they'll be side by side so the power will run from the the solenoid um to the fuse and then from the fuse that'll run to both of these so that'll be like the the live supply and then the actual solenoid switching gets done when you turn the headlights on that'll activate the solenoid you'll hear a click noise it completes the circuit so the 12 volts that's coming from the solenoid goes to the actual each of the lights so I've got extra wiring for that it's very hard to get um blue and white and blue and red so I've just got white and red and that'll do for now okay uh, I wasn't gonna I was going to draw up a diagram but you could probably um, Google search and find one easily um, just so you know, the way I'm doing this, if anyone's never set up one of these, it's the same sort of um, method as what you would do if you had spotlights and you were installing additional spotlights. So rather than the, the switch supplying the power, it actually comes from directly from the solenoid where the, the starter solenoid is and then goes to a relay and so on. So all the actual switch, which will turn the headlights on, will just operate these rather than um, the power and that that's coming from the switch turning the lights on. All right, so let's get started.
so we're all left off um, last. I'll just go over view of what we've done so far. So we've got the solenoids put in now. Um, I've, I tested this and this works okay now. So these are the leads coming back from the solenoid. Um, low and high beam. Um, that's the standard grounding connection. And then that's the red one, which is for the park lights. So they're the, the connectors that the wiring harnesses net will now run to. So the way I did this, I used a um, bit of um, this braided um, cover on there just to protect those wires a bit more. Just makes things look a bit neater. Uh, the other thing, I've got some more of this braiding which I'm going to put on to these wires. So they're the ones that we've prepared already. And what actually needs to happen is the wires need to be threaded into the actual headlight holders. So I'll just show you them. Um, haven't opened up that one, but I think they're both identical. There's no left and right. Um, the adjustments on these, uh, there is one screw here and another screw here to adjust the, the tilt and um, like the direction of the actual headlight. So that's what we'll get played with. And then if they're identical on both sides, I'll have to work out whether that is correct or I don't know. I don't think it wouldn't get inverted, but that might be the case. So I'm gonna to have to just do a bit of research before I get started on that. Uh, but it would make sense to have one at the bottom, one at the side, because I don't think no matter where they are, you'd be able to adjust the direction, but okay. Um, the other thing too, these are the seals that came with like the standard set of rubbers. So it doesn't need those because it actually has a rubber seal that comes with it. It probably, I don't know, I'll have a look at these, but we could probably change that one over and use that seal, but might just keep stick with the ones that it came with since I know everything will fit. Uh, this little piece here, that will just get shoved into that hole and then the wiring will go through. So I need to thread the whole wiring harness through this hole first before this gets screwed in. Uh, the way it works, you use these little clips and these are the screws that came with it. That one looks different. I need to figure out what that one's for. Uh, but these screws, they just screw into the edge here and then the way it works, I'll just go back to the car. So this piece here, you, you'd put that inside there and then the screw goes into it and holds it on. So, all right, I'll get started on one side and then see how we go.
Okay, so there we are. That's all done. Um, I've just um, timed, tidied up the wiring a bit here. Just put a nice um, braided cover over it. Um, might still do some more adjustments to that later because I'm not exactly sure how that's meant to be tucked in, but there's not a lot of room there. Uh, so there we have it. Um, and I'll just put the camera down in a second and, and just turn the lights on, the park lights, then normal beam and then high beam. So I'll cycle through that. So I'll leave it there. Um, thanks for watching my videos.